Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I'm going to show you the removal of the Zag from my MacBook. Now the Zag's been really good and um, unfortunately I need to remove it for uh, use on a uh, use of another product to show you that was a review sent to me uh, but I need to remove this first in order to, uh, in order to show you or apply it so I uh, thought I'd I would uh, give you a look at that and see how it works now <coughs> the corners on this I don't know if you remember if you've seen the other video but you can see the corners let me pick this up and bring it closer this corner actually has lifted a little bit and gotten lint and gunk under there from whatever's uh, come in contact with it and that's happened on each corner now the bottom is actually in pretty good shape it's just the top that's having that that issue and I've actually taken the sides off because they started to have that issue before uh, so it, it's not that it's a bad product it's just that if you have anywhere that lifts it's going to get some stuff under it so I thought I would show you the removal and show you, you know, answer your questions how sticky it is. So here I'm removing this. You can see it's pulling slowly. And it has left my MacBook in perfect condition. That I can't complain about. Some people have said it looks a little uh, ridiculous with the, the shiny gloss on it. Some people like it. Um, but it's time to come off you know it was it was good while it lasted uh, but testing products I need to remove it so we just peel it like this now unfortunately it's not reusable you are stretching it as we pull this here and you can see how tough this stuff is it's really very very strong so I'm just pulling this away and this stuck on pretty well there's no residue here though this isn't sticky at all uh, I mean we'll see the whole thing if if it comes off like that if you saw the best skins ever removal on the iPhone it did leave a little bit of residue but nothing that wasn't uh, taken off by a little bit of uh, like that eye clear thing I have or you could use a little Windex or even a little bit of water uh, and wipe it right off you know put it on a little bit of or dampen a cloth and and wipe the adhesive off so I'm gonna just do this and just bring this up slowly as we come across here this is pretty strong stuff but you can see the surface this the surface is perfect has no problems on it now I will say I do like the look of it better without it I think it looks a little nicer without it You've got that nice brushed aluminum look or or polished aluminum look almost and sorry for the camera shake there. I am having to use a little bit of force to pull this off. And uh, I don't think you're going to have any problems if you had it left on. There we go. <clears throat> and you can see this, like I said, this is on here pretty good. And it's very durable stuff. can see you, you can actually see the aluminum flex as I'm doing this and so you want to be careful not to use too much force at once I don't think you'll harm the aluminum but this part I'm a little bit concerned about the little Apple logo here pull it around the corners here So you really need to take your time. It's been about four minutes removing this, and uh, you know I, I wouldn't just, just suggest pull as hard as you can. Because if you do that, I mean this stuff is on here pretty tight, and it does come off. But is it, it is adhered so well that uh, you have a bit of an issue if you just yank the thing. I think. bring this over so you can see. I'm trying to bring it over to the, the corners. I want to put as little force on this as possible. Uh, and the reason is that is the only separated part portion from the Mac. But this is one solid piece of aluminum. But that piece, not that it pops this way, it's actually fastened from the back side. But I don't want to damage it. This is pretty sticky, but it's not leaving any residue here at all, and it's not leaving any residue on my hands at all. So I have to say, 
We're really impressed with the product. It is a bit of a pain in the neck to apply, but once it's on, you've got protection for some time. Let's see, how, let's see if we can see how hard I'm pulling on that. Just about done here. And there we have it. The zag's removed. Let me see. I don't feel any residue. Nothing at all. And this is what's left. No damage to the screen. Nice and nice and uh, how I how I left it before I put it on. Nice and clean. There are a couple other port parts on the back here. There is a portion that goes across here and the corners and, and such that um, we'll just pull off here. It just pulls right off this one. Now I will say that if you do apply the zag to this portion right here you're going to notice a heat difference. When I had those Marware pads on here as well this just got really hot and and the heat, you know, as heat rises, it actually comes up through the keyboard through all these little holes here as well. And uh, if you have that on here, it does stay significantly warmer. That's my experience. I'd love to hear, you know, how yours, uh, how, how yours might have varied. But I do have the zag on the bottom still. Um, I'll leave that on here for a moment. Uh, but you get the idea of it taking, of taking it off. Um, I think it looks better without it on. It just gives a nicer experience uh, as far as visual impact, uh, but that's pretty much it. I know it's been kind of a long video just to show you a removal, but it is pretty difficult to get this stuff off of here. You can see it's stuck. It sticks on pretty easily. So um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to ask. Uh, I've, I've used this for since that video. I've had the Zag on here, so <clears throat> if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to ask, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. This is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.